Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now fades all earthly splendor, the shades of night descend. The dying of the daylight foretells creation's end. Though noon gives place to sunset, yet dark gives place to light. The promise of tomorrow with dawn's new hope is bright. The silver notes of morning will greet the rising sun as once the Easter glory shone round the risen one. So will the night of dying give place to heaven's day and hope of heaven's vision will light our pilgrim way. So will the new creation rise from the old reborn to splendor in Christ's glory and everlasting morn. All darkness will be ended as faith gives place to sight of Father, Son, and Spirit, one God in heaven's light. Give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without end. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever? Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever? Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever? It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever. The moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched, with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatest he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave our fathers a foreign land to inherit, Free us today from sin and give us a share in your inheritance. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. 
In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. A reading from 1 Thessalonians, chapter 3. May the Lord increase you, and make you overflow with love for one another and for all, even as our love does for you. May he strengthen your hearts, making them blameless and holy before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his holy ones. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Like burning incense in your sight, which rises up to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Forever will my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Forever will my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. Jesus does not abandon those who hope in him. Therefore, let us humbly ask him, Our Lord and God, hear us. Christ, our light, brighten your church with your splendor, so that it may be for the nations the great sacrament of your love. Watch over the priests and ministers of your church, so that after they have preached to others, they themselves may remain faithful in your service. Through your blood you gave peace to the world. Turn away the sin of strife, the scourge of sin. O oh Lord, help married couples with an abundance of your grace, so that they may better symbolize the mystery of your church. In your mercy, forgive the sins of all the dead, that they may live with your saints. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Stay with us, Lord Jesus, for evening draws near, and be our companion on our way to set our hearts on fire with new hope. Help us to recognize your presence among us in the scriptures we read, in the breaking of the bread, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.